Okay, so Cloud Opus 4.5 dropped a few days back on November 25th to be exact and I have been using it almost daily for hours on client projects as well as my hobby projects and I have to say that this is the best coding model out there as of now. Just look at the benchmark, I mean this SWE bench verified for Opus 4.5 is the highest of them all and while it is not very accurate but uh, still it gives us a good base of how these models performs against each other and, and even in the real world it has been performing a lot better as compared to any of the other models that I have used so far. So if you look at these benchmarks all of these are doing really really good. Now there are some other benchmarks like the graduate level reasoning, visual reasoning which are also good but uh, they are better of other models but the best part is we are developers right we don't really need these in a day to day lives. What really matters to us is the agentic coding, the agentic terminal coding, agentic tool use and for that Opus 4.5 right now is ranked at the highest. I'll show you what exactly worked for me, what didn't and I'm going to share my entire experience with Opus 4.5 in the next few minutes. Let's talk about the pricing. The pricing is $5 per million tokens in and 25 out. It is still a lot cheaper than Opus 4.1 and a lot of you are saying that it is a bit expensive. And I agree, but if you're working on a client project, which is paying you like five to eight K, then this model makes the most sense because the accuracy with which it builds it out is much better as compared to hiring a developer. So over the last 10 months, I have used all of the models out there for my client projects at the agency. I, I have used them all, you know, Sonnet 4.5, Gemini Pro 3 and all of them did better than the previous one usually. But all of them had the same issue, you know, context gets messy after a while, tool call breaks on, you know, complex integrations and code looks clean but has edge cases you only catch in production. But Opus 4.5 fixed all of that. So let's talk about this project. So obviously I cannot show you the real project, uh, you know. So basically recently a client came to us and they wanted us to build a portfolio tracking dashboard and it had real time stock prices, custom alerts, multi user authentication, stripe billing, everything you know that you expect in a project of this level. So I would say a bit complex, not very much complex. And usually we have like two to, two to three developers working on a single project, you know, but this project I took in my own hands because I was so excited about using Opus 4.5 in order to build this entire project. And I have been using it so far and it has been doing such an amazing job. Now this is just, uh, you know, a dummy project that I created, which is based on the real project. So for this, I gave, you know, Opus 4.1 just a single prompt that was able to build everything out for me. So uh, let me show you what all this project currently has. So it has a landing page as you can see it has a dashboard the stock detail page price alert so with just a single prompt it was able to create all of this for us okay so it also has dark mode i mean totally insane and it also went inside the browser you know tested each and every page and fixed all of the errors itself it still has this error uh, but uh, okay hydration error this is very common when it comes to next.js not a big deal but as you can see it did pretty good job in creating the entire front end so as you can see this is the landing page looks pretty decent can totally be improved later on but but uh, Opus 4.1 did a pretty good job. Okay, so let me explain what exactly happened with the client project. I just gave Opus the entire PRD that we had, you know, created for the client and it was able to do such a great job that it generated the entire structure, the database schema, uh, the API routes and even added row level security policies I did not ask for. And after that, when I had to, you know, integrate the financial API, I just attached the financial API documentation into it and it wrote the entire integration, you know, including the webhooks, the rate limiting, error handling, everything. No hallucinations and the code that it wrote was also really great because I reviewed it later with Code Rabbit and it had done an amazing job in writing that code out. And uh, it was also able to review its own code. Now I always recommend that you use Code Rabbit, but this time I was amazed at how good it reviewed its own code. So it was able to find this race condition in the alerts. Stripe webhook signature verification was incomplete. It fixed all of these errors at once and fixed it on its own. And I did not do anything else. You know, I just asked it to review the code and it was able to perform such an amazing job at that. Okay, so let's talk about what exactly makes it different and why I am saying that this is the best model out there. So number one thing would be context retention. I have thrown 40, 50 file projects at it and it does not lose track. Other models, you know, used to start forgetting context after like 20 files. Tool calling every API integration that I have tested, it reads docs like a senior developer. I mean, it went through the entire documentation, understood it in very detail, gave me the exact plan that is going to implement. And at once it was able to, you know, integrate the entire thing out. And also it's edge case awareness. I mean, it thinks about error handling, loading states, mobile responsiveness, security. 
without uh, me you know telling it explicitly now it's not perfect like i said so let me share some of the cons that i found now it is very very eager so you know some junior developers they try to show themselves that how they are really the best and they go ahead and do extra that is what opus 4.5 did uh, sometimes for me so basically it writes code more than i asked it to so let's say i was working on a backend thing and it went ahead and made some changes on the front end without me asking it so that could be good but uh, if you don't know what it is exactly doing and if you are not reviewing the changes that could lead to a lot of problems in the future and that is why i always suggest that no matter how smart the ai models get you have to start reviewing your code so that was con number one not a very big deal just wanted to share it with you guys the second thing would be the context window so after 60 to 70 percent usage the quality drops a bit and that is why i just switched to another conversation after you know 50 percent context and the pricing now like i said it is a bit expensive still a lot cheaper than opus 4.1 but still yeah i mean this could be expensive now the good thing is Cursor has this offer right now where they are offering, uh, you know, this model at the same price of Sonnet 4.5. So that is why, you know, I tested it a lot on client projects. You will also be able to see my tweet where, uh, you know, uh, I am asking Cursor to increase uh, the timeline of this offer by two more weeks because I have got so many messages of people who said that they are loving Opus 4.5. So I just want them to, you know, learn better. And if the model is cheap, then people would really deep dive into it. And that is why I asked this. But yeah, I mean, if it is saving you from hiring a developer then definitely it is worth the price and uh, like I said it is much better as compared to other AI models now if you ask me for the AI workflow that you should be using then it is quite simple I have already done a 21 minute long breakdown of my entire AI workflow that we have used to ship over 45 products in the past uh, year at the agency so I link that video in the description below you can go through it and this time just use opus 4.1 instead of any other model and you will have a great time building your web app out or a mobile app does not really matter so yes guys i mean if you are building a project for yourself or for your clients totally give it a try i also found this on twitter that how all of these uh, companies are you know fighting with one another and they always claim that their model is the best so as you can see we are currently here because claude just released opus 4.5 and next it would be Grok, and then next it would be gemini but that is the best part because of this competition we get to use models which are better than the previous one and at the end i don't know how better these models would get because let's say down the lane like two years, three years, these models are going to be so much smarter and I'm really excited for those times. So yes, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.